Okay. Should have got a key on that bad I'm not gonna really start it if you're talking like that. Just... You ready? Let's go. In case this is the second time you've heard this, we did launch a second time. We were told that uh, we may be having some technical difficulties. And so we have re relaunched our stream. So in case this is the second time you've heard Michael say, hey, Welcome, welcome to the second time. If this is the first time you've heard it, enjoy. Exactly. We got the uh, players out in the middle of the field saying their hellos. So we got captains. Aiden Cruz Senior, uh, Aiden Cruz. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> yep. It's always the first game of the season. Coaches are testing things out. You know, the, the players super excited to get onto the field. They've been hitting just each other now for a while. I'm sure there's been some scrimmages. We can talk about the scrimmages. I know you went to you went to one. Color guard coming out onto the field. Standing until the color guard has left the field for the presentation of the colors in our national anthem this evening. The colors are presented by the Lone Star Company, Navy Junior ROTC, Color Guard Commander and Flag Bearer of the American Flag, Cadet Lieutenant Commander Parker Knudsen, American Flag Guard, Cadet Lieutenant Junior Ray Tierman Lindauer, Flag Bearer of the Texas Flag, Cadet Senior Chief Petty Officer Aubrey Aikens. Texas Flag Guard, Cadet Lieutenant Mary Graham. Instructors are Commander Rick Hamlet and Senior Chief Bill Del Rio. And now, our very own Vista Ridge Ovation will sing our national anthem.
Thank you. The pitchers of the night are from the Austin Football Division of the Texas Football Association. The Texas Football Association is a great division. Okay, I'm going to play the Texas Football Association. Five counts, Jerry Johnson, Danny Clark, Tyler, Wayne Sellerwhite, Katie, and Hey Bye, Tyler, Steve, Katie, Katie, and Spaden, Hill, and Kyle Thomas. So, in case folks can hear us, we are being told that there is some technical difficulties, and we're going to try a couple of things here. So, if you hear us, go away. Yeah, that bubble screen was a nice play, Mike. Nice to do some redirection, misdirection early in the game. It worked out. Yeah, he's still 
no gain on the play. Yeah, that was a nice play by Alex Luck with Bowie sliding in the backfield there, getting getting his hands on his cleats. They're calling for the first down. They're going too fast for the referees. Yeah, they look like they may be trying to set something up there. That's uh, a couple of times now they've run that play, and then the quarterback bootlegs out to the right. And uh, one of these times he's going to keep that, and there's going to be a couple of options for a pass or a run. They call those RPG, RP something. RPOs, thank you. <laughs> Every game in Texas doing peanut butter? I peanut butter guy.
You, know, you were talking about earlier uh, this week when we were talking about the game that they really are trying to speed up their offense. Oh my goodness. Wow. He caught that on the outside of the other player, on the defensive back. Wow. I do, I think that was Tanner Brosey, number three. Trying to see, trying to see who's getting all the high fives on the sideline, Mike. Because that, that's generally how we figure out that kind. Of, yes, see number three there, Chris, the camera guy coming in strong. Oh yeah, that's probably why he caught it because he knew Chris back in the day. Oh, well that's probably why he threw a good pass because you knew Chris back in the day. <laughs> that was a great drive, Mike. They only had one hiccup where they had to call the timeout and get, get themselves on track, which is the first game. You'd much rather, as a coach, you'd much rather take that timeout, get set, get everything nice and set. Great start for this thing. You know how I feel about those pooch kiss, don't you, Mike? We've had this discussion many times in the past. They're not my favorites, but I certainly understand the idea behind them. We got re really no wind at all that would be helping try to get it deep, so. A nice tackle by Aiden Cruz, probably saving up maybe 20 more yards on that gain, if not a touchdown. Fantastic tackle by Marky e. Lerma. That was read that, played the block off really, really well, went in low. Fantastic tackle. You could hear the coaches right next door to us hooping it up. They like to see that. Get him into fourth down here. I 
Two scores in six minutes. That's the first game of the season kind of stuff. Mm. 6.05 left in the first quarter. Quarter or period? Quarter. All right. That's the basketball guy in me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might be having technical difficulties. Um, it's not too worried about it. Nah, it's all right. We have some. We have a QA. Uh, Cameron is trying to listen in. I'm just going to pretend like we sound great, Mike. <laughs> Yeah. was Alex Lux again for Bowie. What a great run back though. Yeah. That, that's, that's some of the risks that you take I guess when you kick it a little bit deep like we were talking about. He was able to get himself some room, be able to see what's in front of him, make some good cuts, got some good yardage. Starting out at the 37 yard line is not a good, not a bad place to start a series. As Chris just mentioned, it's third and long here, Mike. Two receivers both sides, one running back in the back. Takes the ball, looks like a little screen. I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna call that complete and a fumble. I don't know if he made an actual uh, move. I don't know if he made a football move after he caught the ball. I'm not sure that that flag is uh, for a penalty or to actually reconvene and talk this over. 
because it looked like he caught it and pretty quickly the ball was popped out. Rep, they're going to call it dead ball penalty. Well, not, right? So we'll see if the Rangers defense can step up now. Yes. Yeah, they did. They can, they definitely thought that he made a football move. And so it's a fumble on a catch. Correct. Dead ball. It was a dead ball penalty against Bowie. For celebrating uh, the interception or celebrating the fumble. Second and long now is that sack brings the uh, 
goes out of bounds up near the 40 yard line of Vista Ridge be about a 40 looks like the place is at the 42 make that the 43 yard line hands off nice read by the defense of the Rangers in the backfield a big tackle for loss number 18 gets back to this Caden Dees nice job by the Rangers defensive lineman getting across and making the tackle junior defensive end coming up big there second down and long second and 14 for the Bowie Bulldogs Snap, quick throw out to the far side. Caught, run into his own player. That helps out Vista Ridge's defense as they're able to corral him before he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. He'll be about a yard shy of the original line of scrimmage up to the 40, the 44 yard line. All right, hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience tonight. This is Michael Rose along with Trey Grubb. We're here at John Gupton. Into the first quarter, we're all tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. Nice job. Good defense coming up big once again. That's number 15 for Vista Ridge coming up behind Kenyon, the quarterback from Bowie. The captain Josh Bruton with a big hit knocks the ball out of his hands, and it's an incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down and 11. A nice... Nice job right there. The uh, Vista Ridge Rangers went down and they got the, the ball to start as the as Bowie won the coin toss the first the second half. So they marched down three minutes, 51 seconds, scored a 10-yard touchdown pass to number three, Mr. Brosey. Tanner Brosey with the catch, 7 nothing, And then Bowie came right back and scored in about a minute and a half drive. And that's, that's where we're tied up now. This is the second punt in a row for Bowie and they Field it all the way down inside the five. It looks like it went out of bounds, however, up inside the 20 around the 16 yard line.
32 seconds left in the first quarter. Rangers coming out on offense. Ball placed at the 16, make that 17 yard line. First and 10 for the Rangers. Snap to Harrell. Quick handoff trying to get the edge. Can't quite get there. A loss on the play back to the 15. Be a loss of two. Would be second and 12 for the Rangers. Tailback number 11. That's Isaac Garcia. Just having a tough time getting the edge right here on this opening quarter of the 2022 season here for the Rangers. Two receivers to the near side. One up top. Two backs in the backfield. He's in the up back on the Right side, high snap, Harold, quick throw to the far side, caught, and immediately dropped. And gives him back to the original line of scrimmage. It's now third down and 10. There you go. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Thanks to Sun Van Camp for actually coming to Vista or to Gupton, I beg your pardon. A call down on the field. They say that the quarter has come to an end, but I'm not sure if they're gonna march it off. And Yep, they're gonna call the quarter. So at the end of one it's seven to seven. Bowie has punted twice. In their last two possessions, and now we have a third down and 10 coming up when the second quarter begins for Vista Ridge. We have one mic. We have one mic using one mic. Michael on the mic? Yep. So where's yours? It, 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 it's not working. So oh my goodness. All right, got my mom and dad listening up back in my hometown of Holly, Minnesota. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. Michael Rose here along with Trey Grubb. You can hear him in the background, and uh, Chris, our camera operator looks like I'm gonna be filing flying a little solo here B grateful for all these wonderful people up in this booth here tonight second quarter about to begin as we see the Rangers to our left in the red tops white helmets Bowie Bulldogs with the white tops red pants red I don't even know what I'm saying Quick throw out to the far side. Caught up close to the 30. Should be enough for a first down. Forward progress gets him all the way up to the 28. Nice pitch and catch right there for the Bulldog. For, excuse me, for the Rangers. I beg your pardon. And that's Murray on the reception and the first down. And it looks like the offense is getting going once again. Ball up at the 28. A gain of 11 on that third down play. Trips to the near side. Jackson Harrell, the quarterback. A little snap. Quick flag because... Coming to the near side, throw out to the near side. And we'll see what the call is. Coaching staff for Vista Ridge making some hand gestures. And it's a false start against the Rangers. I think it was out here on the on the edge. The receivers maybe got a little bit of a quick quick start. Drew the flag. It is. <laughs> That's really good. That's some good discipline right there. I tell you what. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm laughing at the circumstances that are. All right, folks. First down and 15 for the Rangers. Ball placed back at the 23-yard line. Quick throw from Harrell up to the far, excuse me, near side, up to the 30, across the 35. Nice pitch and catch right there 
And as Harrell was under duress back there, kind of running, had to come to this right side here as he rolls out and hits Reese Heffelfinger, the senior wide out for the Rangers. Two receivers to each side, one back in the backfield. Harrell takes a snap, quick throw near side, caught up to the 35, gets it in the swarm of a couple of defenders. Knocked down as he gets up across the first down marker up to the 39-yard line. First down for Tanner Brosey. Brosey caught the touchdown so far back in the first quarter. For, for Vista Ridge. 10-21 to go here in the second quarter. The Rangers driving, two receivers to each side, one back in the backfield. Loose ball and Harrell has to land on it as the snap Having a little trouble getting back. It's the second time it's been a little bit of a miscue from center to quarterback, but Harrell able to fall on top of it. Loses about two or three on the play. It'll be second down and 13. Ball placed back at the, looks to be the 34 yard line, or make the 36 yard line. Thank you. Handoff coming near side. That's Garcia. Gets tripped up for no gain. Third down and 13. Three receivers up top to the left side, one down to the near side. Harold takes a snap, looking to throw, steps up in the pocket, can take off running, has room up across the, four, the 45, up to the 46. It's going to be fourth down, but it's going to be fourth down and manageable as they get to closer and closer to midfield. Nice job by Harold to make something out of nothing as nobody was open. And he took off running, but it looks like we're going to have a punt as the special teams unit comes back out onto the field. Okay, looks like he'll come back out. Yep, he's back deep. High snap from the 30-yard line. Puts it in the air. Nice spiral. Good kick. Fair catch signaled back at the 20. And they'll drift him back even further. Looks like they'll place him at the 16. Beautiful punt for the Vista Ridge Rangers. Eight thirty-two to go here in the second quarter. Seven to seven, two punts apiece for the last, the last two possessions. Now Bowie comes back out on the field with eight twenty, or excuse me, eight thirty-two to go. Two receivers to each side. Kenyon, the quarterback, snap fakes. That's a nice dive right up the middle. Looked like he faked me out. I thought it was a one of those RPOs or Trey. Good dive up the middle, gets four yards and the ball placed at the 20 yard line. Three receivers to the top of the screen now for the Bowie Bulldogs. One receiver coming down to the bottom. Man on man defense here for Vista Ridge. Quick throw to the far side, caught up to the 20. Nice defense, look at that, wow. Great swarming defense, a gain of about four on the play, but man, oh man, that was some great open field tackling by the Rangers, that is for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Sunda Venkant in the house. Whoop, whoop. The amp doesn't, it's not even lit up. You can't get it to light up. It's not working. It's not lit up.
<laughs> Snap to Kenyon, handoff dive up the middle to the 30, up to the 35. Still on his feet, gets the edge, knocked out of bounds as he gets up across the 35, close to the 40. He knocked out of bounds at the 39, the first down for the Bowie Bulldogs. Nice little run right there, gain of 15. And a Bulldog first down. Two receivers to each side for the Bulldogs. First and 10 from the 39. Snap to Kenyon, handoff right up the middle. Up across the 40 to about the 42 yard line. Gain the three and the second down and seven. When Suna gets back, she'll, she'll probably just do the I Dream of Genie um, head nod thingy, and it'll be fixed. Yes, I am old, and I just made an I Dream of, Dream of Genie reference. You're welcome. Or a Bewitched with the crinkling of the nose. Either one. From one old school to another old school. Trips to the near side. Kenyon takes a snap, looking to throw. Has a receiver going down the middle, and it's way over his head. Incomplete. A little mix up there by the Bulldogs quarterback and receiver, and it falls haplessly to the ground to be third down in about six or seven. Make that seven for the Bowie Bulldogs. Like a blanket. Like a cheap suit. I, uh, I'm alliterative and cliched oriented. receivers to the near side, one up top, two backs in the backfield for the Bulldogs. 7-7 seven, seven with 5.44 to go here in the second quarter. RPO, Kenny keeps it, throws out to the far side. Nice defense on that far side by the D-back for this Ridge. That one goes to the ground. It'll be fourth down once again. Look at this. Vista Ridge defense, Trey, coming up big time. Three series in a row after letting, giving up that big one-minute, 30-second drive by uh, a quarterback keeper there. Kenyon rushed for a 38-yard scamper down the near sideline back in the first quarter for their only score. Now, the third straight punt of the evening upcoming for the Bulldogs. High snap from the 25. Little pooch. Line drive for a cut back at the 29-yard line. My goodness. She's, she's going to bring it, I promise. First and ten for the Vista Ridge Rangers upcoming here as they're huddling up on the sideline. 5.29 to go here in this second quarter. We will uh, give you the, uh, the visual of the marching band at halftime as we will take a, a break ourselves and just kind of kick back. And We're really grateful that Suna Venkat is here. We all, The buoy... Uh, Bulldogs have their Vipe Live crew a couple doors down from us, and so she's here able to help both of us out. So it's kind of nice to to not, you know, misery loves company of sorts, that we're not the only ones having some trouble. But, um, but yeah, so. I don't think it is either. I, I'm talking, I can see me, but then you talk, I don't see you on the monitor, that yeah, is. I really, no. No, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I can hear you. I just can't wait for everyone else to hear you. That's all. You betcha. Play clock has not yet started. Now it does as the Rangers come back on the field. First and 10 for the Rangers from the 29-yard line. Two receivers to the near side. Two backs in the backfield. One re lone receiver up there at the left. On top. Snap. Harold. Keeper. Nice fake to Garcia. Now rolling back to the near side. Pitch and catch up to the 30. Slow as he gets out of one tackle. Nice job lowering that shoulder, knocking over that bully bulldog defender. Gets all the way up to the 38-yard line. Just a yard shy of a first down. But man, what a great play for the bull or for the Rangers, excuse me. Here on first down. Who was that masked man that had that ball right there? I 
I need to I need to make sure I keep my eye on that. I don't was was that number I believe you're right. There you go. Would you uh why don't you put that um up and over on the uh, scoreboard for us, please. That would be awesome. There you go. A little bit to your left. There it is. So it's official. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dead gum. <laughs> Again, folks, we will be with you all season long as uh, Mr. Ridge continues their their dominance here on the gridiron. So well, it's because the amp's not working. That's why. As soon as we get a new amp, as soon as it's going to get you a new amp. It does, because it's not plugged in. I promise. Because I'm plugged into the amp. No, I don't. I'm plugged in there. I have no idea. I have no flipping clue. <laughs> I have no flipping clue. Two receivers at the top. Two backs in the backfield. Harold takes a snap. Handoff Garcia. Oh, ball is loose. Oh man! Oh, and another, we got to get a little uh, a bit extracurricular right there from the excited Bowie Bulldogs. The second turnover of the first half as Garcia put the pumpkin on the ground. That's a bummer. Five oh seven to go. First and ten for the Bowie Bulldogs. Deep in Vista Ridge territory. Deep as they've been to start this evening at least. Ball placed at the 38-yard line. Kenyon fakes the handoff. Goes out to his right. Dives up across the 35 down to the 33-yard line. Gain of five on the carry for the quarterback. Second down and five. She's coming back. She's <laughs> figure it out. Great. Two receivers near side. Kenyon quick throw out to the right. Caught up across the 30. Muscles his way up to the 28-yard line. Just enough for a first down for the Bulldogs. First and 10 at the 28. Nice job right there by the receiver to get a, his feet down and shield himself from getting knocked back or losing control of the football. The defensive backs for Vista Ridge have been all over the place tonight in the best way possible. And so... First and ten, splits up the middle, and the handoff goes nowhere except backwards. A loss all the way back to the 32-yard line, a loss of four on the play. Nice job by the Vista Ridge Rangers coming up big on defense right there. It'll be first and 14, back to the 32. Nice read right there and good execution on that blitz. Linebackers coming up, jumping over the pile and making a play in the backfield. Two receivers here to the near side. Two backs in the backfield flanking the quarterback, Kenyon. Quick throw. A little screen to the far side, up across the 30. Still on his feet to the 25. Spins his way out of a couple tackles and meets a swarm of defenders as he pushes the pile forward. Ball will be placed up at the 22-yard line. A gain of 10 on the play. It will be third down and, I believe, four now for the Bulldogs. Nothing since. Trips to the far side as the ball is placed on the right hash mark. So a scrunched up offensive set right there for the Bulldogs. They're coming here to the near side, spreading it out. Makes the catch up across the 15 and marked down at the 14. First down for the Bulldogs. You can hear the coaches for Vista Ridge very dismayed at that play. Game Great tackle by Emmy Landers, though. Definitely saved the touchdown. Oh, big time. Good open field tackle. Let the play get in front of him, but kept his feet, kept his eyes up, and made the tackle. First and 10 for the Bulldogs at the 14. 
Trips to the far side. Back in motion. Keeper by Kenyon up the middle. Zigs and Zags gets up close to the 10 yard line. A gain of two up to the 12. It'll be second down and eight. Looks like I can be heard now. Well, that's good. Welcome to the program, as they say. Trey Grubb, ladies and gentlemen. Producer, color analyst, all-around great guy on, on the vocals. Hand off right up the middle and dive forward up across the 10, down to the 6-yard line. A couple yeah. yards shy of the first down. It'll be third down and two. Rangers are going to have to stiffen up here to try to keep this to a three-point venture down into their end zone. One eleven to go here in the second quarter. 7-7 the score. Michael Rose here along with Trey Grubb. Our camera operator Chris Student here at Vista Ridge helping us out tonight. Two backs in the backfield. The offset eye and a timeout called by the Rangers. Read, read the defense. Call a timeout with 52 seconds left. Third down. Third down, pretty much third down and goal, really. Even pretty though much. There's two yeah. yards for first down, but when you got 50 seconds left in the quarter, in the half, that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's been a. Uh, a really stout defense all the up until this point and all of a sudden just putting some different wrinkles and well the fumble the turn out really hurt them yeah uh, the turn of the ball over in their uh, in their side of the field really hurt them yeah this this drive originated at the at the Vista Ridge 38 so they've uh, they've only gone 32 yards down to the six yard line so it's it's only taken us a half for yeah to get everything That's worked a, out hey. here the rest of the season into the playoffs, man, we're going to be we're going to be the envy of the entire state of Texas, streaming on all cylinders. Thank you very much. Or maybe it's megahertz. I don't know what it is. Whatever. I pretend Let's, I didn't hear that. <laughs> loaded backfield directs that little little wildcat right there. Dive up across the five. Inside the five down, it looks like to the three. Yeah. So first, first and goal down. now for Bowie. And that's going to stop the clock, but it starts back up now with the ref uh, winding his hand or his arm. 38 seconds left. Max Barnes on the Wildcat, and he's back in there once again. Barnes takes the snap. Yep. Going to the right side, bounces in, and then touchdown for the Bulldogs. And they take the lead going into the half. 26 seconds to go. Showed good patience there. Three yard touchdown run for Max Barnes. Yeah, those the turnovers that turn into points really hurt you. Jobby the kicker comes out. Cedia. Cedia Jobby. Easy for you to say. That's right. Kick is on the way. It is good, 14-7, 26 seconds to go. Wonder what Coach Scott, if they have a have anything up their sleeve, I'm sure it'll be another pooch kick. Well, and Bowie's gonna get the ball at mm -hmm. the start of the second half, so. I've been kicking off to Murray, the, uh, the big play guy, so there's anything's possible. Seeing some good kickoff returns so far, so it can put us in good field position. Uh, there are, uh, the Rangers only have one timeout remaining. Should make note of that, as they had to take one here on defense during that drive, trying to prevent that touchdown. But it is 14 to 7, Bowie on top here in the second quarter. Again, halftime will be uh, just uh, giving you a visual of, um, and I think we have sound outside, correct? We do. So we'll be able to hear the sights and the sounds <laughs> of the Vista Ridge Rangers marching band. 
Poor Mike. It's been a night of uh, technical difficulties. We don't know if it's working. It's, I, I just uh, when, when we get to come and and, and do this gig, uh, which I love to yeah. do, so just get to come in and the whole world disappears. The only thing that matters is what's in front of us, and I just absolutely love that that gift that uh, I, I get each and every Friday and or Thursday during the football season. Well, and we technically do have the Friday night lights up now. Mm -hmm. Lights come on. And you can see the uh, sunset reflecting off the clouds in front of us, which is awfully pretty as well. Was that a cue for Mike to, or for Chris to have to? Get no, to? that's okay. okay. I'm just making <laughs> my own observation. You're going to hear me talk about clouds, sunsets, moons, stars. Another pooch kitsch. The pooch kitsch fielded Faircott up at the... <laughs> I just got thwacked in the breast well, by yeah. Mr. Grubb. <laughs> he, made, uh, he made fun of my, what did I say, push? Push? <laughs> I said push. pooch. I don't know. I don't know I what I said. I didn't realize you it, said that. It was that. not very close to a pooch kit, though. <laughs> but they did uh, call a fair catch, so obviously want to try to see what they can do. It, one of the things of these, like we've talked about, first game of the season, try things out. Mm-hmm. See what the players can do. So starting at the 25, their own 25, with 26 seconds. Hand the ball up the middle. Cuts to the right. Gets first down yardage up oh. to the 40. Can't quite get to the out, out of bounds to stop All the right. clock. So the clock continues to run. Looks like well, we got the clock will stop because of the first down. Oh, beautiful. So That's right. See how quickly they run. That was a quite a bit of yardage on the first. Now it's running as they get it set on the ground. Call the timeout. Now they call the timeout. Good call by Chris there. Okay, y'all stop the clock, please. Jeez, oh, Pete's. But you got to put time back on. Oh, come on. <laughs> time was called with 14 seconds. There we go. Oh, thank you. Oh, got to put back 16. 16 seconds. There we go. We got two freebies right there. Sweet. Well, you know, when you're on your own 25, got 26 seconds left. You run, you, know, you run a you run a play, mm -hmm. you you know, and you run, and if you get some good yardage, maybe maybe now you try something a little deep. Yep. You know. Do you know where the Hail Mary came from? The name of Hail Mary, Roger Staubach. That's right. Roger Staubach, Drew Pearson. I actually huh? saw that game, saw the, it live. That's how yep. old I am. The uh, you're talking to the Vikings fan. That was a clearly a push off, by the way. So nope. let's, uh, let's that was be a nice hail mary catch that was, there. That was a terrible push off oh. by Drew Pearson. Shame on him. I think your mic's going to be broken here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is the whiskey bottle. That's why that's why fans can no longer bring glass bottles to stadiums because the Vikings fans peg mm, the official yes, in the head that was with bad. a glass whiskey bottle. So yeah. So I see if they run it here. Two receivers to each side. 16 seconds to go in the half. Yep. Harold takes a snap, rolling to his right, looking to throw. Puts it off his back foot, caught, and gets out of bounds. Are they going to? Yep. Oh, they're going to say to keep running. Oh no! Wait. Oh, no, it's a first down. So they'll they'll oh, they'll stop God. it. They'll stop it. Well, the, it's the first the down. Headlinesman right there on the sideline waved his arm in a circle like to keep the clock going, but then he stopped it. So I seven think he was, seconds. Well, up I think midfield. he was the one that got hit to the ground. So maybe you know. Yeah, he's a little. Maybe a little, little woozy. woozy in the head. You know. And it looks like we have a looks like we have an injury on the on the sideline there, so that's going to take some time. A little freebie timeout here for Mr. Ridge. First and ten for the Rangers at the 50-5-0 yard line, as you can see. Seven seconds to go. Yeah, okay. Um. Twenty-five yard drive so far. As Chris points out, 50 yards to the end zone is quite a, quite a lot to have to happen in seven seconds. But Any we've seen that kind of stuff. We have, definitely have seen that. This is what they practiced a quick two-minute. Jackson Harrell, senior quarterback for Vista Ridge. That's always good. You see the, the player get up, walk off on their own accord. Accord. Uh, accordion. I have Looney Tunes in my vision in my head. All right. As he walks off the field. First down and 50. <laughs> Look at the poor kid. He's not off yet. Everybody's lined up. 
ready to go. As soon as that kid hits the sidelines, we'll start the, start this play. All right, here we go. Clock winding, low snap. Oh, Harold has to dive on it, and that'll do it. That'll do it. So halftime score, Vista Ridge trails Bowie 14-7. We'll bring you the sights and sounds of the marching bands from both schools here over halftime. Thank you so much for listening. Again, we do apologize for the technical difficulties that we've had, but I do, I do, I'm, I'm we're back, calling baby. attention. We're back. We're back. And we're going to, we're not, we're unstoppable, folks. We are unstoppable. <laughs> Trey Grubb, Michael Rose, and along with Chris, our camera operator, will be back for the third quarter in just a little while. Go get yourself something to drink and enjoy yourself uh, and the halftime festivities right here at Gupton Stadium. And thanks for watching.
Welcome back to John Gupton Stadium here in Leander ISD. Michael Rose, Trey Greb, and Christopher here bringing you the action. 14-7, the halftime score. Bowie on top. A tale of two halves. The beginning of the first quarter was uh, pretty much a bang-bang as the uh, first six minutes. You're right. Mr. Ridge came out storming. Three minutes, 51 second drive as they went down the field. Scored their first and only touchdown of the evening. Uh, it was a 69-yard possession. It started at the 31, all the way down to the 10, and the 10-yard touchdown pass to Mr. Tanny Bro Tanner Brosey. Here comes the Vista Ridge Rangers out onto the field. Once again, folks, you can see their brand-new uniforms this season. And if you get a chance to look at those helmets, you can see that it says Rangers. First time they've ever had a script before, script writing, that is. They usually have had the VR on their helmets and a number on this other side. Tonight... They have Rangers written on either side. And last night, according to Coach Scott, I wanted to make sure I brought this up, the dads, it was uh, decals and dads night, as the dads oh. got to come and hang out with their kids and put the decals on their helmet and had a, had a meal together. Uh, Coach Scott said that uh, they had a chance to uh, have a conversation with each other. They had a, a script, uh, to use that word once again, to a, a series of questions to to ask each other and to just spend some, some quality time as a team and with their parents, with their dads, and then to just have a moment to be on the on the same page and to ask some pretty poignant questions and just to see Coach Scott kind of light up about that opportunity and, um, you know, tying all this together is pretty cool. Yeah, that's one of the things being a coach that's uh, really exciting. You know, in the past when I was basketball coach, uh, getting the kids together with their parents and getting everybody really focused on uh, what matters, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Not, not the W's. We like the W's, but it's the kids that matter. Oh! Uh -oh. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's always nice to be able to get the parents and the kids together. Um, as a coach, you just really... The, that's one of the reasons why you coach. I, I believe it was a pure psych out. Uh, deep kick. Feel it inside the 10, rack of the 6, up to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, going to the far side, gets angled out of bounds. Yeah, good job. Close to the 25-yard line. A good return, but a nice job by the special teams to use that sideline as a 12th man to make sure that kept contained right there. So the Bulldogs, they won the coin toss, and so they deferred here to the second half, which is how they uh, get to come out on the field right here. And, of course, just to go back, the first six minutes, that four-minute drive, a little less than four minutes, it's 7 nothing, and we saw Vista Ridge really cruising, and then a minute and a half later, it's 7-7. And then a, a whole bunch of punts, a couple turnovers by Vista Ridge, uh, punts on either side, and a last uh, a, a touchdown uh, run of three yards with a few seconds to go in the second quarter and in the, in the first half. And that's, that's how we ended that's it. Truly, that's truly the difference in the game is those yeah. turnovers, yep. right? Those turnovers. Because um, Vista held them really well on their defensive uh, unit out there. And so it really was those turnovers that kind of turned things around. And uh, that's where they got that second touchdown off of. Connor Brent. Connor Kenyon, I should say, hand off to the near side, spinning out of a couple tackles, still on his feet, up across the 40. What a run. Holy cats. All the way up to the 42, make that 43-yard line. Wow. That's a new one for me, Mike. I'm not sure I've ever heard you say holy cats before. Oh, that's my thing. It, 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 All right. That's the first of many holy cats that you'll, you'll hear from me <laughs> moving forward because it beats the alternative, right? It does. It does. <laughs> So first down for Bowie. This has got to tighten up here. Down already one score. 
And look, there was some, okay. definitely some confusion on the buoy sideline, yeah. so they're going to take a timeout. We talked about that. I'm not sure if anybody heard us at the time, but uh, we talked about that <laughs> earlier tonight. Um, it's the first game of the season, and everybody's kind of, you know, there's been a lot of practices and everything. So, as a matter of fact, I think the game's been pretty tight yes. in terms of, uh, you know, penalties. I think both teams have done really well with that. Um, but uh, calling a timeout and making sure everybody's on the same page rather than risking it, that's certainly the way to go in the first game of the season. Because, uh, like you had said earlier, uh, at the end of the first half, Vista only had one timeout did, because they yeah. had had to use two timeouts earlier. Yeah, one of them on defense, unfortunately. But, yep. uh, yeah, I never want to see that, but, you know, need to try to keep things short up and just witness Bowie having a little bit of confusion as Trey, Trey mentioned that one of the receivers sprinted to the sideline and probably didn't need to do that but just a little miscommunication well and when uh, everybody's trying to do these fast offenses right right, right. Um, you, everybody's got to be on the same page mm -hmm. yeah when you're spread out like that and you're moving quickly and of course you know that's kind of how we were to start the first half we were kind of <laughs> spread out and moving a little quickly and we had to regroup and we got uh, our partners over on the other side calling the buoy game, and we got a little mix-up, and we appreciate your patience, and we're glad that you're with us now. Second half underway, a little dive up the middle, up across the 45, up to the... So it'll be, yep, sorry to interrupt. Certain, no, 47-yard line, so... Yeah, second and, it's second and six, get four yards on that crash over the middle. Two receivers down here to the left side, one up top to the right, two backs in the backfield. Handoff coming to the near side, up to the 40, at midfield, I beg your pardon. Up across the 45, hit out of bounds, but no no laundry over there. You see Trey here cringing a little bit, hoping yeah, he wouldn't see they were a flag call on that. that. Max Barnes on another run. He's had a good night for Bowie. Barnes gets him into Vista Ridge territory up to the 44-yard line and a first down. Barnes has that football look. He's got like a torn thing on his left arm there. That's, right. That's the good old days right there. Remember the Earl Campbell days where you could rip the jerseys That's away? Right. That's right. The, the tear away. Two receivers up top. Oh, false start. False start. Thank you. There it is. Flag came out. I was actually just going to make a point that uh, Vista's been playing up tight man-to-man -to -man mm -hmm. on their outside uh, corners and uh, that can sometimes be a little bit uh, nerve-wracking for a wide receiver to have a guy up on top of you that you know is going to hit you right off the jump get, right. you, get you off your route hopefully mess up your timing that's exactly what we saw from Jacob Castle the wide out here on the bottom of the screen number nine who's got his foot straddling the 50 feet straddling the 50 yard line snap Kenyon Takes it himself, gets around the right side. Good contain, however, by Vista Ridge. Gain of a couple up to the, looks like the 43-yard line. So important for the guys to stay on the outside and push that play into the middle. If that stuff gets out to the wide side, that's always trouble for the defense. So great job by uh, Rangers pinning them into the middle there. I said 43. I meant loss of three back to the 47. I beg your pardon. Quick throw out to the far side. Caught. Nice job by the defense. Getting a little disruptive right there. But Max Barnes, the running back, bouncing off like a bowling ball of those pins. Gets a couple more yards. He is tough to bring down. Good for Vista to put him into a, a third and long. We have not said that sentence very often this no. game. Ball up across the 45 to the 43-yard line. And gets back a couple of those yards. Third down and nine, as Trey mentioned. Third and long. Two receivers here to the near side. One up top. Up tight on the wide receivers again. Got the tight end set right there with the back in the backfield. Now the back comes out of the back. That's Barnes in motion to the near side. Now trips to the left. Empty backfield pro set here as Kenyon steps up. Looking to throw, he's going to get hit from behind and he'll be dropped. No gain, maybe a loss of a yard. It'll be fourth down and ten. There's that Vista defense that we've been looking for. Yeah, great job, play. Gentlemen. Heck of a job right there. Good, 
Good coverage downfield by those cornerbacks that Coach Scott's talked so well about. And of course that coverage play right there results in a sack for the Rangers. And we'll get a punt coming up here. I was looking for the player's name. Number 51. For Vista? Yes. There he is. Tyler. How do you say that last name? I'll let you do that since you're the play-by-play -play guy. Gilliland. Uh, great play by Tyler there. Staying with it. Putting pressure on the quarterback. And getting a, a cover sack. Beautiful. Forces the punt right there. So it'll be first and 10 for Vista Ridge. Ball will be placed at the, wait for it, wait for it, 14-yard line. That was my little rendition of drama for you. You're welcome. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that was a good punt. We'll see what Vista can do now. Great job stopping them on the drive. Eight minutes, four seconds left in this third quarter. Ball is batted down. Tried to throw it out, uh, a quick out to the left. And the ball was batted down for now second and ten. Quickly up to the line of scrimmage. Trips here to the near side. One up top. Rolling out is Harold looking to throw. Actually, that's Arno, the junior quarterback, and caught up across the 15, close to the 20 yard line. Wait, is that number not 10 or 12? That is, I'm sorry, that's Harold. I thought that was Arno coming in at quarterback. I beg your pardon. Great catch by Brosey. Timing on that is really, really hard when you're both running hard to your to your right. Both of you are, so it was a good pass, good catch. Murray coming in motion. Snap. Harold takes the hand, makes the hand off, I should say. Up across the 20, spinning out. Looks like the ball is going to be on the turf, but they're going to say he's down by contact. Ball whistled dead. It'll be third, actually, big part in fourth down and short for Vista Ridge. But this is punching territory, unfortunately. Should be, yes. He gave it the good college effort. Mm -hmm. High school effort. <laughs> <laughs> he reached as far as he could reach. Yeah, that play, that first down. It's so important to get yardage on the first first down. High snap, and a little wobbly punt. Not much yardage on it. Should hopefully take a Vista bounce, and it really didn't. Ball be placed at the 41-yard line of Vista Ridge, so another great opportunity for Bowie with great field position once again. That's uh, right around a little bit deeper than their turnover that they drove on in the second quarter. So short field for Bowie coming up here with 6.28 to go in the third quarter. And the Rangers trail 14-7. to seven. Yeah, that high snap, I think, uh, caught him a little bit uh, off guard there. And it probably felt like there was going to be pressure. Yeah. Uh, when actually Bowie, Bowie played for the return. So he had a little bit of time there. They'll learn, get better. That's what the first game's all about. Absolutely, you're right. Bunch formation and handoff to Barnes. Barnes gets corralled in the backfield. He's going to lose at least three. Of course, I, I guess I want him to lose three, but he'll lose two on the play. If they would only listen to you, Mike. I would, I would appreciate it. <laughs> As my father used to say, I'm not speaking for my health. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least your dad talked to you. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding, Dad. If you need a hug, I got you, man. I got you. Just kidding, Dad. Just the plane up tight again, as I have on all... Oh, Hand off to Barnes, and I yeah, love you, draw. Dad. I know you're listening, and I hope you're laughing just like I am, because <laughs> that's one of my favorite <laughs> things my dad used to say. That was a great read on that draw by the defense there. Another huge stop in the backfield, absolutely. I mean, I, we've talked to it a little bit about it, but penalties, plays like that, the discipline show, being shown by actually by both teams uh, in the first game of the season is pretty good. Certainly something the coaches, I'm sure, are happy about. 
third and long. Two receivers each side. Kenyon steps up and it's intercepted up at the 35. Still in his feet coming near side of the 40, 45, 50. 45 down to the 40, gets knocked out of bounds. A huge turnover. What a great momentum shift for your Rangers right here on Vibe Live. That's awesome. Great job by Grant. Grant Anderson read that play perfect. Quarterback never saw him. He dropped back into coverage and was right there. Nice That's long arms getting up there and getting that ball, Mike. Exactly. Just getting re reaching right up there. Very deceptive. Kind of in that middle, no man's land, middle ground right there and makes a big play for Vista Ridge. And they have it first and 10 all the way up to the Bowie Bulldog 35-yard line. 4.54 to go. Snap. Harrell. Quick throw as he's hit. Ball. And is, it, is it picked off? It is. Harrell pitched it downfield and there's a back shoulder, but a back shoulder catch by the Bowie Bulldogs. Looks like that's number 13. They get it right back. Wesley York, senior defensive back, picks it off. Man, oh man. It's kind of like a punt. <laughs> That's not the way you want to do it, but. Not at all. So, defense, this is one of the things about playing defense. you got to be able to get right back onto the field. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you're right. You just held them. No reason you can't do it again. Kenyon takes the snap, hands off Barnes. Barnes bounces out. Another great side. Another good read by the by the contain of the defense. Holds him for a loss. Nice job. Wow. Yeah, the linebackers are getting back into the backfield uh, pretty regularly here. Bowie not having a lot of success running to running wide. They've had their success going up the middle or via the pass play, and truly. One drive at the beginning of the game, and then 38 yards for the, their other touchdown. Mm -hmm. So not a lot of, you know, defense has done well tonight for Vista. Absolutely have. Yeah. Kenyon takes a snap, looking to throw, coming near side. Caught up across the 30. Gets corralled, knocked out of bounds, up to close to the 40-yard line. That's right where they'll mark him. A fifth, uh, excuse me, a 20-yard pitch and catch right there. Yeah. Actually, a 23-yard pitch and catch. That was a great, that was a really well-designed play there. The wideout took everybody deep with him. Three receivers over to the right side, one here to the left. A big bad snap over the head of Kenyon and he'll have to jump on it way back inside the 25 down to the 24. So a loss of 16 on that Aaron snap. So this is what you got to take advantage of here. That's that's almost that's going to get you good field position if you can actually hold them here. Wow. I beg your pardon. This, they're going to mark it back at the 24, not the 16. I beg your pardon. A loss of 16. I'm getting all confused. I should go back to school. I think I will. Quick throw to the far side, incomplete as it bounces at the feet of the defender. The intended receiver for Bowie was angling in and was off over his shoulder. Yeah, Walt James was the intended receiver. Yeah, that's one of those um, timing plays that uh, in the first game of the season is a little tough to nail down every single time. Third down and Buda, or no, that's the other direction. Third down and Waco, thank you very much. <laughs> really good opportunity for Vista here. Kenyon looking to throw, and he is knocked to the ground. A big, big play right there. Looks like number 90 for Vista Ridge. Got right up in there and knocked him to the ground. What a amazing play. Yeah, Gabe Moore broke through the line there and uh, introduced... <laughs> Introduced the young man to the first game of the season. Rock back, loss of six back to the 18. And now we're looking at. Uh, I think they'll go for it. Fourth and Waxahachie. 
You think they'll go for it? No? It doesn't look like it. Okay, they're going to punt. <laughs> a little pooch punt, a little low line drive. Fielded and oh caught. boy, I'll put the 45 of Bowie. So great field position to start here with 2.26 to go in the third quarter. Bulldogs on top 14 7. Our Vista Ridge Rangers need to put something together right here. No time like the present. So you know the coach of me, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about the details right there. So a little pooch punt, right? Try to give yourself a nice little run on it. Great job by Tanner Brosey to come up and actually catch that ball. Mm -hmm. Because if he doesn't run up and catch it, that's probably going to roll. Because he's not going to build because they didn't punt it deep to him. Right. So it's going to roll for a while. Great play by him. That's the kind of stuff that you, it's those little details like that that matter. It could be 10 yards, well, or not sure we, what happened. Uh, I guess. Uh, are we marking something off here? What no, nothing was getting marked off. They okay. were just incorrect. All right. You, know, you so see him limping. Give him a break. <laughs> he got knocked down earlier tonight. <laughs> He's struggling. He sure did. He's struggling. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bounce that out to the left side there. Not getting a lot of traction. Garcia again on the carry. Yep. Tried to go up the middle. Had to bounce it out to the left. But Bowie was there. Oh, he's kicking himself. I Loss he, of one on the play. I'm sorry, Trey. No, I think he, I think he saw something and just couldn't make it happen. He came over to the sidelines just kicking himself. Not literally, because he would have fallen down. <laughs> <laughs> Loss of a yard back to the 47. Two receivers to the near side. Two backs in the backfield. Receiver coming in motion from right to left. Harold takes a snap, handoff. A nice read in the backfield. Another loss on the run. Yeah, I'm still oh. waiting for that bootleg to come around on that play. Have somebody from the left come across to the right. And see if you can get a nice misdirection play going. Zion Harper, uh, the ball carrier on that play, and he gets knocked for a loss back to the 48 now. Third down and 12 for this Ridge. Two receivers near side. Again, the two backs in the backfield. And the timeout called. You, got, you saw it, Trey. And here comes the line judge from the Vista Ridge sideline calling yeah. the timeout. Yeah, Vista didn't like something. Coaches didn't like what they saw. This is a big play. One minute, three seconds to go here in the third quarter. Vista Ridge football, third and 12 after this timeout. But yeah, you know. Uh, so we do have some win now. So there's. And they're going into the wind here. Maybe they're thinking that uh, this is two down territory for them. And so they want to make sure that, uh, well, we've talked about it. They want to make sure they got the right play. Yeah. Everybody's in the right spots. Maybe a district, a few games down, a few weeks down the road, you don't take that time out. Right. Right? Because you want to yeah. hold those for your fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. But in this. Uh, situation here third down and 12 you're in their territory if you can get you know yeah. if you can get a first down great but if you can get eight ten yards exactly you might go for it although your defense is playing really really great so if you could actually pin them even play better. a little bit of field position even better and you mentioned too just uh you know Bowie took their time out but uh um, I think this time out it's a little easier to take since Bowie has already burned one of theirs as well. So it True. doesn't put this at really a, a disadvantage timeout wise like they were back in the first half. The scoreboard says 16 yards to go. So you need to go down there and help them out uh, with a little so bit of math. Excuse me. That's just so you know, they only have to go 12. <laughs> just 12. They don't have to get 16. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Two receivers to the right. Harold drop back. Quick throw to the right side. Coming back for it. Making the catch up across the 40. Yeah, they're going to give him the 40. It was the 40, the 39, but they're giving him the 40. So they got a big chunk of those yards back. Eight yards on that pitch and catch will be fourth and four. And they're up to the line of scrimmage quick, which tells me they called two plays on that timeout. Two receivers to the left, one to the right side. Here, as you can see, top of the screen has those two receivers. Looking over to the sideline, seeing if they're going to change their play. <laughs> play clock at 15. Uh, Harold's got his hands out like, well, what are we doing? <laughs> Quick snap. Harold dropping straight back now, rolling out to his left, looking to throw. Steps up. 
Puts the ball in the air, coming back for it. Just couldn't oh. get there. Good little hands. Yeah, they threw everything at him there. Yeah, they did. I think the Covered. coaches saw that blitz coming, and they thought about changing the play up. Turnover on downs for the Rangers. With nine seconds to go here in the third quarter, we'll get at least one more play here before we switch it over to the fourth. And all I can ask for is a chance in the fourth quarter, and we certainly have that. First and 10 for Bowie at the 40 yard line. Hand off right up the gut. Gets up across the 40 to the 42, and that'll do it for the third quarter. 14-7, the score remains. Not a lot of offense, but some pretty darn good defense here. Well, oh, so they're stopping the clock. Never they mind. They stopped the clock at two seconds. Not really sure why. Duh. Here we go. Boom. Zero. 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 No, run, run plays means the clock keeps running. So I don't know why they stopped the clock. <laughs> They might have been. They might have thought that uh, someone had been in, injured. We got some dancing going on on the Vista sidelines. We do. Everybody's pumped up for the fourth quarter. Fourteen-seven is. You got to throw out the, those four fingers up. up. Yep. Yeah, got to put the fours up. I wonder who started that. I don't. I, rem I remember watching North Dakota State when I was a little kid put their four fingers in the air, and we did it in high school. And was that uh, just so everybody remembered where they were? Yeah, I think. You know. Four, four more, four more minutes. I don't know what the four was. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we know. Indeed, we're just having fun. We know, we know what's going on. Yeah, you, uh, you think you like it? Nice. There you go. Well, you gotta get, you gotta get hyped up. Hello, what's up? Kid? Well, howdy. Wow, that's a lot of batteries. Hello, Masuna. <laughs> You've had an exciting night, haven't you? No? Bless, bless your little heart. I was really hoping that was going to be you know, like a Su sandwich or something. <laughs> Looks like Suna raided her grandma's battery collection. <laughs> Just dumps. I'm not sure what she's doing Got now. Got a couple Rayovacs, the Duracell, a couple Energizers. She's going to knock over your Sprites. What's going to happen? <laughs> she better not. <laughs> she's going to burn everything to the ground. <laughs> Suna is our IT person extraordinaire, and she oh, she's way more than that. Hello, holy cow! I can hear myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, our <laughs> our headphones. <laughs> so our so our headphones. We couldn't. Yep, yep. We couldn't. We couldn't hear ourselves all night. <laughs> Suna came in and <laughs> fixed that. <laughs> and, and, I, and I do believe that Mike, Mike's headset was a little hot. <laughs> so we did have a play. Oh my God! During I, all of that, I can't hear. I can't hear you now either. It's turned down. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. We haven't we haven't heard each other all night. So I know, but it would be nice to, now that it actually works. Thank you, Cena, for coming in. Appreciate you. Quick throw oh. caught up across the forty, still on his feet to the thirty-five. Down inside the 20, tackle the game, a touchdown saving tackle all the way down to the 15 yard line. Wow. I really thought that uh, he slipped out of bounds. I did too. Caden Dees, the receiver, made a big play. He's a tall drink of water coming down the near sideline. Holy cats. That's a 25 yard pitch and catch right there. Good job by the receiver to keep his feet and I thought so too Trey when he stepped out but it's first and 10 for this receiving for Bowie at the 15 two receivers to the top of the screen one back in the backfield tight end set and receiver split down here to the right handoff to Max Barnes a reverse coming gets out of the way and now up to the 10 lowers the shoulder up across the 10 down inside to the 7 yard line It'll be second down and about 2 You hear static in yours? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay. This is this is something else. I tell you. Hey, 
That's right. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> what could go wrong this evening? Well, it's, it's just the pass. Gremlins, the gremlins, right? Two receivers in the top of the screen. Two tight end set. And here we go. Coming to the near side. Trying to get around. Nice job by Vista Ridge corralling him. But it's going to be a first down up to the five with first and goal. Actually going to mark him down inside the five at the four yard line. Ugh. Shoot. 10-14 to go here in the fourth quarter. Bowie started at the Vista Ridge 40, and they're down inside the five at the four-yard line. That is the outside microphone that we are hearing that okay, yeah, we need to turn noise that from. Just turn that sucker off. That's annoying. Hoof that. Thank you. <laughs> Two receivers at the top. One back in the backfield. It's the Wildcat as Barnes takes a snap, bounces to his left, trips over his own shadow. Thank goodness he's down at the two yard line. It'll be second and goal at the two. Barnes lost his footing and fell forward. Otherwise, he was waltzing in once again for his second score. 9.25 to go here in the fourth quarter. Visteridge trails 14 to 7, and they got, uh, got the work cut out for him here as they. Try to cage these Bulldogs here in the fourth quarter. Not only cage, but catch. Catch, yes. Snap, it's a high snap. Barnes takes it, lowers his shoulder, gets knocked backwards, so maybe get a yard, if at all. Yeah, that high snap, that helped. That helped a lot. It slowed him down just to touch. The touch. They got it. Hey, they got it. We have a, a timeout on the field. Oh, looks okay. like maybe somebody could yep. be injured. Yep. Appreciate you. Thank you, Chris. There we go. Never never like to see that, especially in the first game of the season. Right. There's a lot of injuries going on this game. Yeah. So it's a really nice turnout tonight, right? Yeah, you'd mentioned the students. And, I, and when you yeah. said that, I thought you were kind of a little tongue-in-cheek there. But no, the Vista Ridge crowd is huge. you got the fans and the band all the way over to our right. And a lot of fans, right, everybody's... Even these dispersed across the middle of the student section way down there in front. I think the uh, middle section, which is kind of empty, was that because we're it's cause standing we're, right in front of it? We're right in front of it, Oh, yeah. okay, all right. I knew it had something to do with us. A Vista Ridge player is down on the field. That's why we're taking a break from the action. 8.53 to go here in the fourth quarter. Third and goal coming up as soon as the uh, player makes his way off the field. 7-7 seven to seven with 6.06 .06 to go in the four, in the first quarter. And then 14-7 as we went into halftime. And here's where we stand as we are three minutes into the fourth quarter. And they're knocking on the door once again. Yep. Can you hear me okay? Yes, now I can. <laughs> it's kind of nice to hear you. Oh, that's so nice. And I actually hear you crisp instead of muffled, you know? Oh. Well... Yeah. So this is a big play here. Try to keep them. Try to keep them to three points. Although, if I'm Bowie, I probably. This is two down territory right here. Yep. Ball firmly planted at the one yard line. Max Barnes is the running back who runs the Wildcat. It's a direct snap to him. The last two plays, and now for the third straight play. He mm. dives forward, and he gets met at the wall. And there are a couple people signaling touchdown, and other people signaling no way he didn't get in. And it looks like they stuffed him right at the goal line. And I believe yeah, that's no a signal call. yet. Yep. They haven't said anything yet. Yep, there's a big fist up in the air. Fourth down. Fourth and goal at the foot yard, at the foot yard line, at the third of a yard line. I would, have, I would be shocked if they don't run that play again. Uh, it's third, three straight Wildcat direct snaps to Max Barnes, the uh, tailback for Bowie. It's one of those plays, you know what's coming. There he is once again. Snap, going to his left side, lowers Stuffed shoulder, him again. Stuffed him, nice job. Wow, the defense came up huge. First and ten for the Vista Ridge Rangers at the one-yard line. Wow, that defense is something else. And you can hear the coaching staff next coaching door staff, going That's nuts. right. Well, that's... One of the beautiful things about football, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
everybody knows what's happening, know what's coming, and if your guys can do it a little bit better than our guys, you're stuffed. And so that's uh, that's good football, especially first game of the season. See that kind of play happen. See the energy from the team. Now, offense has to come out, and they're one yard away from their end zone. <laughs> so, <laughs> good stop. And we need to get get at least out to where a punt would put them on their side of the field. Snap. Harold. Harold hands it off right up the middle, rolling around. Uh, he'll get. He should get. Uh, no gain on the playback. No. Nah, yeah. So. He, he should get uh, forward. Yep. The line judge on the near side here yeah. coming in, puts his hand in the air for a second down and ten. Yeah. You don't get. A, you don't get to have a safety for throwing him back into the end zone. No. He did lose a little bit there, so it is now maybe second two foot line, yep. something like that. Certainly, certainly calls for a pass. Seven twenty-three to go here. Pass out to the near side. Caught up across the ten. Makes a move. Nice job. Gets up across the twenty. Dives forward. Wow, that's huge. Uh, way out of the shadow of the end zone. All the way up to the twenty-three yard line. First and ten for the Vista Ridge Rangers. Yeah, that's a nice job. Great play there by Tian Murray. Great play. It was mano y mano, right? It was. You bet. And uh, he won. Snap Harold. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Now rolling out as he gets flushed out of the pocket. Going down the sideline. And oh, he'll take off running up to the 30. Steps out of bounds up close to the 35-yard line. A nice, another, another nice run and play for the Rangers. And, t and Tian had a... Had another great route. If he'd have just had time back there in the pocket, coming across the top there, that would have, that could have been a touchdown. Eight yard scamper for the quarterback Harrell, and a timeout looks like on the field, or it's actually another injury. So we'll take a quick little. Well, so this we not we might be seeing now some of the uh, the wide receivers winning some of these battles, mm -hmm. and if they can win. A few more and give Jackson a little bit more time in the pocket, give Harrell a little bit more time in the pocket, we might be able to see something coming across the middle. Because those plays need a little bit of time to develop, right? Yeah. Yep, they do. And we've seen some good stuff here. If you're going to play man to man and go mano to mano like that, if you, and you, if you can't beat them, Might be a good spot here for one of those RPGs, RP, RPOs, <laughs> RPG. I know. RP, RPMs, RPMs. There we go. No, it I'm, might be a really good place for an RPO. Absolutely. Or that bootleg that I've been calling for all night. Yeah, well, Harold showed us that he's got some mobility. Yep. He's got a, the ability to run out of the pocket and keep his vision downfield and make some big plays. And you mentioned. Murray being uh, in position for a couple of those big plays. So I think, what the heck, right? It's going to be second down and two. Ball's at the 31-yard line. Make that second down and, th yeah, two to go. I want to give another shout-out to our QA, Cameron Songer. He's been with us all night working hard. Harold takes a snap, handoff up the middle. That's Garcia. He gets up across the 35, close to the 40-yard line. It's first down for Vista Ridge. So that's, that's what I that, – that's one of those hezzy, hezzy plays, a little hesitation. That's right. One of those basketball plays. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit of hesitation in the backfield. That was Sizikowski actually on the carry. Haven't called his name yet tonight. Sizikowski, not Garcia, who got that first down up to the 39. Harold gets out of the pocket, zigging and zagging. Now pulls it down and takes off running and gets up across the 40. A lot of maneuvering for two yards, but thank goodness he got some plus on that one as it'll be second down for the Rangers at the 40. Yeah, that's some that's some senior leadership right there. It was a really, really good decision to pull that ball down as opposed to trying to fit it into a tight window. When you got some momentum going, you got to keep that momentum going, especially when you've had two costly turnovers. Trips to the right side, one receiver down here to the bottom of the screen, one back in the backfield. Harold takes a snap, drops straight back, looking to throw, steps up in the pocket, and he's dropped. 
big loss back to the, looks like the 30, 33-yard uh, line. Wow. Yeah, we were talking about that a little while ago that you got to give them time, you know. If you want these plays to be able to develop, you you got to give them a little bit of time. We've got some good momentum going here. Yeah. One of those quick outs that we saw to get them out of their shadow of their end zone. Second and eight becomes third and 15 as a seven-yard loss. Just needs some good yardage here so if we can have a good punt. Quick throw to the near side, in yeah. and out of the hands of Sizikowski. It'll be fourth down. And uh, Yeah, Harrell, as soon as he let that go, you could tell it, his body language. He knew he threw that a little high. But the, the good news here, you got it out of the end zone. Got it out of the shadow of the end zone. Yes. If you can have a good punt here, you got wind behind you, got the wind behind your back, get a nice little punt, get a nice little run. On the ground, a good bounce. Defense is playing really good. So lots of positives out of getting all that yardage. Doquette with the punt. A nice line drive spiral. It's going to take a hop and a roll. Fielded by Barnes inside the 30, up to the 30. Goes the angles towards the sideline out of bounds <laughs> at the 32. Yeah, Barnes has been like, you know, I've been, I've been hit a lot in this game. <laughs> There's a punt return. I think I'm just going to. Bounce on off to the sidelines. He went immediately and sat down. Hmm. Huh. Like that, that might be an interesting situation for Bowie. I hope he's all right. He's having a fantastic game. Maybe he went to get that, you know, that sleeve that got ripped off his arm. That could be. You know, really give, him, well. give himself a new yeah, one. He needs a new one. I, I can't play without it. <laughs> I, I ain't going out on the field without my sleeve. All right, here we go. First and ten for... The Bowie Bulldogs at the 32, 528 to go here in the game. They lead 14-7. Keeper by the quarterback gets up across the 35, up to the 36-yard line. That was a pretty good decision. His running back lost four yards. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep. Connor. See if we can get us one of those plays where we got somebody behind line of scrimmage. It's if I'm Bowie, I'm just running the ball. Hadn't been a high-scoring game. Five minutes left in the in the game. Run that clock. Ball placed up at the 36-yard line. Second and six. Quick throw so on they the back throw. shoulder. And he's got some distance up to the 30, down to the 20, the 15, 10, 5, and a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Shows you what I know. Wow. Yep. Yeah, cornerback looked to try to make a break on the ball. Just missed it. Just missed it. Nice back shoulder throw right there mm -hmm. from Connor Kenyon to his wideout going up the sideline. Dad gum. Oh. Sixty-three yards on that one all the way down for another score. Snap kick is on the way. It is good. It's 21-7 with 440 to go here in the fourth quarter. And the Visteridge Rangers need to catch up or at least get something going moving into their game. They'll be headed to Georgetown next Friday on the 2nd of September. Can you believe it? We're going to go. We come back. It'll be September. I can't believe it's September. Hang out again. My son turns 21 September 9th. Oh, nice. Yeah. My my dad turned 76 on the 4th. I don't know. I just thought I'd throw that out there. Happy early birthday, Dad. Actually, I had... Uh, Happy birthday, my, early birthday, Mike's dad. <laughs> I had, a, I had a, the most... Um, and I'm not I'm not saying this because they're listening. I'm really glad they're listening. And I, um, but with our, we had a, a nice, over an hour-long conversation with my mom and dad just a few days ago. Had a nice hour-long conversation with you a few days ago as well. So it's been nice to touch base with some of the people I admire and care about. So I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, we haven't done this in a long time, so we had to we had to we had to get together and talk about uh, everything. How much I got to talk over you? <laughs> well, see, I, I figured that. Uh, 
you know, all these technical difficulties were. That's right. Very much. It's all uh, part of the plan. <laughs> you should see Trey right now. He's putting his fingers together <laughs> like a <laughs> evil genius. <laughs> <laughs> High kick, fielded at the 15. It'll be first and ten for Vista Ridge with 4:40 to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah. That's another one of those details right there. Um, I, get, I can see the coaches talking to uh, the young man that caught the ball there and called the fair catch. You're letting him know if it's going over your head, let it go. Yeah. Um, got somebody behind you that can get some run on the ball. Good news is, you know, kid, kid feels like he's uh, following direction. So at least he's, you know, well, there we at least go he's paying it. attention. And, of course, that is the rule. If, you've, if it's fielded inside the, the 20. 25, then the ball's placed at the 25. So, yep. got nine free yards on that one. So, good heads up right there. Yep. 21 to 7 is the score. 440 to go. Vista Ridge football. Two backs in the backfield. One, Two receivers to the top. Harrell dropping now. Rolling out to his right. Quick throw. Skip pass. Got to be careful, Bowie. That could be a defenseless receiver type of play right there. So, make sure you keep your head up when they did. I didn't know you could have a skip pass. I figured once it hits the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's cricket. Cr cricket rules all of a sudden. Yeah, they need to give them time. We, we were talking about that a little while ago. Front line needs to give them a little bit more time because now Bowie's just going to pin their ears. They know, they know they need to throw the ball. Two receivers to the top, one to the bottom of the screen, two backs in the backfield. Harold, quick throw to the near side, caught, and stepping out of bounds on this near side is Murray with the reception. Looking forward to getting to know these young men as the season yeah. goes along and pick him up by number and name and all that as we keep I really going. like Murray. So he he was uh, he was not happy that he had to go out of bounds. I love that about players. There's a lot of players that'll just hop on out. Some players don't want to ever go out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Third and three for the Rangers with 425 to go. Two receivers to the top, one to the bottom of the screen. Harold, Ooh. quick handoff, Garcia, and he is, actually, that's, who is that? That's a new guy, number 26, that's Mark Lerma, he's met immediately and dropped for a yeah, loss. Yeah, he's, he's, he was introduced to the first game. <laughs> Lost four on the carry, it's fourth down. Probably looked at somebody and said, hey, let's block that guy next time. <laughs> Yikes. Talk about pinning your ears back. Now they're going to go for it here on fourth down at 3:53 as the clock continues to wind down. Yeah, there's like no reason, no reason not to. This is where you, you got to play for this. So exactly. Trips Draw it up. The, trips to the top of the screen. Harold dropping straight back, looking to throw. Has plenty of time. Throw across the middle, incomplete. A little, little. Uh, extra. Just a little high. Just a little high. Um, that ball's a little bit lower. That's a that's a first down play. So, the play worked. It did right? The yep. play worked, and uh, you know, and I know that that everybody wants the W, but uh, those are the type of things that um, you can build on. Exactly. Right, because everything's building towards the next game, and then building towards the next game, and then district, and then playoffs. Right. So, right. every game you got to get better. There's stuff that they've done fantastic tonight on penalties, very few. So, but there's lots of stuff that they can work on and get better. And this is another opportunity here, play some really good defense. Play clock down inside of 10 as Vista Ridge uh, goes back on defense, Bowie's ball. Delayed handoff, Barnes up the middle from the 28 up across the 25. Down inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. Gain of five on that delayed run. It's uh, another thing about football that I really love is uh, no matter the score, you got to play hard because if you don't play hard in football, they score. <laughs> so that's right. You got to play hard. You still got to hit hard. You still got to you know you got to grind it out physically. It's one of my favorite things about football. Down to three minutes to go here. Bowie's football at the twenty. Actually, make that 24-yard line, second down. Trips to the top of the screen. Quick throw out to the far side, and that's a skip pass. There's no one of those skip passes. Yep, that we call it. If you're a Vikings fan, as I am, that's a Donovan McNabb. Oh, I don't know if you remember Donovan ouch. McNabb came I to do. play for the Vikings, and uh, before do. Christian Ponder took over as a starter. Um, 
Christian Ponder, of course. Uh, I don't even know who that is. Not, not <laughs> a, much better than Donovan McNabb as a Viking, but yeah, McNabb skip pass was pretty, pretty I fun to watch. I just got scared out of my shorts by the coach next door here, the Bowie coach, banging his hand on the. Devil. Ooh, another delayed handoff and counter coming back to the near side. Good, good read by the defensive. Yep. Mr. Ridge, 2.35 to go as the clock continues to wind down and looks like we're going to have a fourth down as they just sort of keep putting it on the ground. But we have a clock will stop. Looks like we got a an injury of some kind, maybe. I think they just know I oh, want the game to go a little bit longer. Mr. Ridge took a timeout so they could they could preserve a little clock. I got some something up their sleeve. They want to put some more points on the board. 2.27 to go. They're going to get the ball back here. More than likely, and I, I'm well. It's not going to be a punt, but the field position, I should say. So, right. We make sure they make this stop right here. We'll see what Bowie's got up their sleeve with this this extra timeout. One timeout remains for Vista Ridge. Well, what I'm looking for here as a coach is I'm I'm I am looking for a play to be able to stop this one, right? I don't know that sounds really kind of cliche and silly, but that's why you call the timeout because in this part of the season, you really do want to try to get things on film so that you can look at it and you can grow from it. So you want as many plays as possible, not really looking at the score, right? When you got two and a half minutes left, you'd have to have some really magical cowboy right. happening stuff to yes. Minnesota stuff. <laughs> So <laughs> it's a great opportunity here for the young men on the field to get us get a good stop. Touche, by the way. Touche. Mm -hmm. Fourth down for the Bulldogs. Empty backfield. Kenyon takes a snap, quick throw. Going to the far side, or near side, I beg your pardon, and it's a catch down to the 10-yard yep. line. First and goal for the Bulldogs. You know, that touchdown pass was a, back shoulder throw mm -hmm. that's uh, several now that he's made those are extremely hard to defend they very much are absolutely but Ooh. it's now on film and they'll get better mm -hmm. exactly so first and the goal for buoy down to the 10 yard line 250 sorry 217 to go here in the fourth quarter you know vista doesn't want to give up a touchdown here so You'll see him continue to play hard. Handoff Barnes coming to the right side. Met at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward for about a gain of a yard. It'll be second and goal. Maybe two yards. Can't really tell from the far side where this stand. Looks like it's at the nine. Yep. Fans still here. It's awesome. Yes, Love that. Yes. Got to give a big uh, thank you to Chris here, running Absolutely. our camera all night, first timer. He had to put up with us. He did. He had to he put did. up with the camera. He didn't roll his eyes or nothing. I uh, know. At least we couldn't see him. Snap to Kenyon, handoff, coming to the, out to the bounce and to the left side, now back up the middle. Inside the five, down to about the two-yard line. Oh, a little pinball action right there. Yeah, but that defensive back. Said nope. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sir. I mean, he he stuck his hat right in there. Mm -hmm. Got a good stop here. You know they're gonna run. So that's Braylon Thomas on the carry for Bowie. Third down and goal for the Bulldogs at the two-yard line. Make that the three. What do I know? All right, tighten up, Rangers. Snap, handoff, bounce to the outside, spins in. Onto his back and a touchdown for the Bulldogs with 45 seconds to go. Man, a couple turnovers and a couple of really sweet back shoulder tosses to the sideline. And it's 27-7 uh, yeah. with the extra point upcoming. Well, the game is... The game is always made of a few plays here and there, right? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, doinked off the, off the... Doink. That was right after I put 28 on the scoreboard. So okay. that's what I get for doing that. There you go. 27-7. 45 seconds to go in the game. Mr. Ridge will get one more chance to get a little bit more on film, as Trey was just mentioning. Now on the offensive side. The uh, the gentleman to your left, Trey, that's Coach Mike DeGilia. He is the base head baseball coach for Bowie, just... Oh, in case you were, you were wondering, great guy. I've had it with my KMAC and Vipe days. I've been uh, the voice of the Bowie Bulldog baseball team, which has been a lot of fun. So it was nice to see Coach Mike come in. And he said he works with the freshmen. Oh, I bet you that's fun. Yeah. Well, I bet you that's a roller coaster, really. Yeah, he said, <laughs> I better said. He, he said, <laughs> give me the freshmen, I'll teach them a few things and... And let the other coaches do their thing. So that's a, and you know that's one of the really really cool things about high school is you know you don't really well there are some schools that probably get to pick who come and play for them, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but for the most part right you're building up the you know the kids that are coming up to your programs yeah. everywhere so right. really good to hear that they've got somebody that's paying attention to the freshmen building that team up. Building the players, getting them ready. Alex Luck is going to kick off for Bowie, his first. You gonna try his luck? Try his luck, that's right. Hi oh My favorite kick, the pooch. Fielded at the 27-yard line. That's where Vista will start with 45 seconds to go here in the game. They trail 27 to 7. I wanted to say 27 to 20, but it's just not, not there. Not there. That's all right. You add to the drama, as they say, right? <laughs> it's actually been a pretty good game played. We just have a they just have a couple of big plays that got them a uh, 14 points. And again, just a lot of building blocks for Vista Ridge. So a lot of things to focus on and to. Oh yeah. Learn from, handoff right up the gut, bounces over to the right side. There's Met at the 31-yard line. There's a lot of positive in this game. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's always hard. Um, players, you know, parents, fans, scoreboard is generally what everybody looks at, and it sucks, but uh, getting better every game, that's what you're looking for. Snap, Harold, handoff right up the middle once again, gets up oh, to the great 35. great job. Look at that. Yeah, he didn't go down. So he got back up, tried to run some more. They've got themselves a really great uh, senior quarterback. I think Harold's done a fantastic job tonight. A little high on a couple of passes. It mm -hmm. could have been something, right? Yep. A little bit of a center quarterback exchange things to work on, and uh, that's going to do it. Ball game is complete. We'll see the handshake. At midfield, that's got to be, and it always has been, my favorite part of any football game ah. is this. And Chris mentioned it, the uh, sportsmanship during the uh, coin toss and the handshakes going on. But uh, definitely, definitely like to see. And, of course, when we had our, our COVID experiences the last couple of years, it's been some waving across the field. But I'm glad to see the handshakes back in play. And congratulations to Bowie, their first win of the season. And uh, as we mentioned, Vista Ridge, a lot of uh, positives to take out of this and uh, looking forward to heading to Georgetown next Friday night on the 2nd. Again, folks, thank you so much for your patience with us tonight. We're getting our jitters out of the way. This broadcast brought to you by the Vista Ridge Rangers Booster Club. Appreciate their partnership. Thank you. And, uh, man, any you know, we just mentioned takeaways for the last fourth quarter, you know, the whole fourth quarter, but uh, any closing remarks by you, my friend? I thought... Uh Really great play by um, pretty much across the board for defense. Um, I know that they, you know, they they let a couple of touchdowns in there, but uh, they had a big stop down on the goal line interception. Um, they were really close on a couple of uh, other interceptions, just couldn't get there. And you know, one of the things that you really like to see is they're not happy. 
There's a lot of players, you know, you know, that were frustrated during the game because they wanted to make a play. They're not frustrated with the the team and how things are going, right? Yeah. They're just into the game, mm-hmm. right? And they want it. And so, passion always, passion, always is a good thing. Yes. No, it, no matter the score, if you're just passionate to play well and play good, and play it to the best of your abilities, I see a lot of players that are that seem to have that attitude. So really looking forward to seeing what they're able to do looking at film because there'll be a lot of film work. Right. And uh, they got to figure out who's injured and how they're going to get through that. So I thought there were a lot of positives. Uh, and I thought the wide receivers uh, for the offense, that was a really good positive. Mm-hmm. I thought we, uh, I thought, like I was saying, I thought Harrell played really well, just a couple of high throws, but otherwise he was, you know, playing really good, took care of the ball. So I, I do see a lot of positives. Got to get some work on the front line, on the front lines. That's where the always where the most work's got to be, right? Saw a couple of nicked nicked up players, but I think uh, overall the the depth for Coach Scott and his staff, and of course all the players is, uh, as you mentioned, I, I couldn't say it any better myself. There's so many things to take away and. You can see the, uh, um, the players there on the sideline it's joining hands for the school song. And, and um, man, just yes. congratulations to uh, both teams. And it's going to be a, one heck of a fun season. I'm excited and I'm yeah. really grateful to be a part of it. And I really, you know, Georgetown, they're going to be another big test offensively. They're yep. a, a 5A school, but uh, they always come out with their they're a gunslinging team as well. So. This defense proved that uh, I thought the defense played. Up for next yeah, week. I think so. the defense played well, and they'll play better. That's Absolutely. what the film work will will do. Absolutely, got good coaching staff, good leadership, good senior leadership. So, I see good future stuff here. Absolutely. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us. Thank you, Chris, very much for being a part of the. Appreciate the it, Chris. Thank you. Nice work. So. For Chris, for Trey, Michael Rose here signing off. And for Connor, I am Cameron. Cameron. Cameron Songer. Nice nice Thank save. You. I appreciate it. For Suna. Con- Connor was our quarterback for Bowie. So I got it mixed up. For Suna, coming in twice. <laughs> for Merle, leading the charge. For everybody at Vipe Live. Thank you so much for being part of the broadcast. Again, brought to you by the Booster Club. Thank you for your partnership. Look forward to being in Georgetown next week for another Vista Ridge football game. Until then, y'all have a blessed weekend, a great week ahead, and thank you so much for being part of the broadcast. Until then, Michael Rose, Trey Grubb, we'll see you next time.